Angelica having a redemption arc right now is something I would have never imagined at the beginning of this show. But hey, here we are. Angie got some training and she is in it to win it. I wonder exactly how far she's going to go because it doesn't feel right for Angie to lose and, you know, brought, you know, our orc sama or Rick to just clutch in her behalf. But the sponsored player also doesn't really have to win, right? Because their goal is to get the money and they're doing some shady underground bets to figure out. But hey. Let's see what's gonna happen. Today's reaction. And you going in! You. Okay. The Renet's training. Secrets of body control. The hand is a blade now. The red slash. What do you. How do you do this? Yeah, I know you two can. <laughs> Even Rick. Because she doesn't know the power scaling of all the people in the Ori Halcon Fist, I guess. Does it? I was explain. Quite often, I, I do enjoy like how they try to do a little bit of pseudoscience to explain like how this shit works, right? So feel the air and swing through lightly but completely. What does that mean? Just, just Feel the air, man. Just go to the nearest rock that you guys have and do this shit. Feel the air. Swing through it lightly but completely. You'll probably break your fucking fingers. Mm. By incorporating reverse reflection, magic fluid helped her learn this better. Okay! That's pretty talented, right? Okay. <laughs> oh, that was a month long? Holy shit, I thought it was a couple of days. <laughs> okay. Well, it sounds like Angie has her own way of doing stuff, right? And, you know, we saw the training, she earned this shit. Let's go, Angie. Truly a prodigy. But the cut's not deep enough, right? Oh, I just realized. Look at this. The ending of the opening. Angie is using it. The wind slash. The slashing technique she just showed us. It was hinted there. Perfect prodigy. Born with everything. Did it change it? Nice dodge! Does she have to always say Itokiri? That's proof that she did not have to say Itokiri here. Unless this wipe of her hand to disperse the smoke was not Itokiri technique. Oh! One more time. Not the face. Downloaded, he knows. He just copied it? With his hands in his pockets. I guess the title of today's episode, The Absolute Prodigy Born With Absolutely Everything, is like referring to him instead of Angie. The cuts are too shallow. It does seem so. Adopt a sibling, okay. That's an eight year old? Dragons are built different. Bro retired at after beating by an eight year old. And this is after he was a famous pugilist. Yeah, like he's won one of these, I think, right? And then he retired early. The eight-year-old retired him. Holy shit. Yo, come on. You know Papa Mama dead, don't you? Did Snape tell him? Like, he should be aware of their family situation, right? 
Yeah, he's aware. He's very aware. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So, like, the whole theory of how they could rig this shit and just lose so that they can get paid out, that's not gonna happen unless he's lying right now, which is probably not the case. Ooh. And GPOB! Come on! <laughs> These old geezers are the biggest Angie sims, remember? Angie Tan! By a single twin tail, my scales? What is that? What is the image of the scales right now? Because. I don't know. Have we ever talk about this shit? The scales. I thought this is talking about like some sort of like payment shit about how the money and stuff. But she's still. But the, I, the scales, the spirits. What did I miss something last episode? <laughs> oh right, right. The whole analogy. Like Rick said, like think about like. Anytime you're suffering, think about how heavy it is, right? Compare that, what you're suffering through versus the other shit, and you'll realize that it's actually not that bad. Right, right, right. Ooh. Oh! Someone threw something! Who's through that? His shoe! Someone threw his shoe! Let's go, Rick. Let's fucking go. That was his shoe, bro. Man. <laughs> Imagine he threw his shoe too hard and it like knocked out Geith and Angie won. That'd be stupid, right? <laughs> like, like he threw the shoe so hard it just like killed Geith and Angie wins by default. <laughs> but no. <laughs> Rick is mad! You can see that 40-something-year-old uh, toes in all its glory. You know what? Angie didn't give up, though. It sucks that Angie couldn't win, but lore-wise, like, plot-wise, doesn't make sense that Angie could beat Geeth. It doesn't make any sense. She, her spirit wasn't crushed, though. She didn't give up to the very end. Skill issue. How did he just make Chu Tang so hyped there? <laughs> that kick, and immediately he's already tying his shoes. How is that so hyped? <laughs> 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 <That's> <laughs> Oh, he's not fucking around anymore and just like letting the opponents go easy. He's just like, this guy's straight up bleeding from his head now. Before, you know, he'd be kind of nice about it, but okay, no more. <laughs> Angie. <laughs> that goddamn elbow in its way. <laughs> Oh! Nah, it's a bait! <laughs> it was a bait, right? He intensely got kicked by it so that he would, she would let her guard down. Bam! What? And he's still not even in his prime form right now. The champion has yet to show his full powers. Do you think that this studio intentionally made these NPCs here half face so that they don't have to, like, it saves budget? Because, like, this guy is kind of just face, right? I, honestly, this is still better than random CGI copy paste because everyone does have their own unique design. A1 Pictures is a master of 
making background assets actually seem vibrant and lively rather than just like random shitty isekai shows where they just, you know, copy paste the CGI. Best four. Hmm. This is the matchups? Okay, Rick versus Geith, Broston versus uh, Champion. It's looking like it's gonna be Rick versus Broston at the end, huh? I don't see Champion beating Mr. Broston unless he decides to go easy and lets him win. Because, like, there's no way Rick or Broston's gonna lose. I see you, commentator. I see you, commentator girl. I also see you. Who are you? She's the cleanup girl. We corrected her back in the episode where she was super cocky, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, is this the cat girl? No, 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 no. It was the uh, girl that, yeah, yeah. She got all cocky and we showed her up and now she's, you know, just doing gender shit. <sighs> is he training? Just releasing his stress? Angelica. Angie's good. That's good. Interesting lore about magic healing, holy healing. Angie's too good. Nah, compared to Rick, you have so much talent. Don't say it like that. Rick saw himself probably in you and wanted to do it. Angie, no! Bad. It's actually emotionally hitting. Straight up, the voice acting, the soundtrack, but besides that, right? I actually care about Angie. It's rare in a weekly seasonal show. Like, you wouldn't think that they would have the proper setup to make us care, but like, Angie, honestly, like, the redemption has been so good. おとなしくスネープにねえねえには扱われて楽ができそうですし。うんうん。いや、謝るのは俺の方だ。ギースの力を見抜けなかった俺の王子とさ。That was an impossible battle。いい。光見てろよ。オッケー。お前の修行のその先を見せてやる。Let's go. さあ、いよいよ。Dude, the commentator's titties are just so aggressive, bro. But beyond that training. I'll show you what lies beyond the training you went through, because Rick obviously has gone through way more training. Small talk. Will he one-shot him? Because I don't think Geith is at Rick's strength. No fucking shot. Like, Rick and Mr. Broston are on a different level right now, but they've been building Geith up throughout the last couple episodes from the perspective of other contestants, so... One-shot? Are we gonna humiliate him? I don't know. There's still half an episode left. One knee already! Tensai mobo! Sonna mijime na sugata cha. Kore ijo nagure nai da. If you look pathetic, I can't hit you! Internal attack! Internal attack! Internal, right? Come on, Geet! Wait a minute. We've slain a dragon before. We've slain two dragons, actually. This show was just all about Rick just slaying dragons and dragon-like monsters, huh? Alright! あのドラゴンフォーゼという強化魔法を見たところかなりの魔力を消費しそうだがもう一切期待通らずに誰も騙すまったく知るかよ文句はてめえのゴミ親にえやそれ<笑> 
He has one fucking insult, and it's just shitting on the parents, bro. Does, we should shit on his parents. Maybe this is all projections. Maybe he's an orphan, because he's an adopted kid. Right! He is an adopted kid. Adopted brother, that's what Snape said. It's all projections, because he was left alone by himself. <laughs> No, I mean, Broston made a comment before about how Rick is gonna use that through after all or something. It sounds like Rick is, might be holding back or he's trying to win in a specific way. <laughs> or literally just gonna make him all tired out and worn out and he wants to make sure that Angelica has a good show and to make sure that Geith you know, gets what he deserves. That's what Mr. Broston meant. I see. To show that Angie, even at your strength, that you could win. He's trying to make a point. It's not about the match. Why do we teach Angelica Ito Kire or whatever instead of this? I'm just. Because, like, the cut didn't do shit, but the internal damage should have probably helped out a lot more. I'm just, like... Because Angie's good with the sword. True. She's trying to be, like, a sword master or some shit, right? Her goal, I forget, last episode. Something about, like, a sword master or something about that. But, like... <laughs> yeah, through attack, it's probably really hard to use, right? Yeah, it's... The... The Ito whatever is probably more compatible with what Angie's good at. But I'm like, hmm, this seems way more useful. But this is probably hard to learn as fast as that. <laughs> And Rick said, what lies beyond this training? So maybe the throw attack would have been the training afterwards. We're getting roasted by our own team. He does not even possess the pro and prodigy. We're just a digi, bro. But what about our passive skill? What about that, like, un, uh, un. I forget the exact naming of it, right? But we saw that. The heroic berserk spirit that he had, that he killed a dragon with. I thought that's count as potential. <laughs> Suffering from success. Either the animators are lazy and won't animate the lolly eating our subway, or the battle is so compelling right now that the lolly is showing respect and not eating. Through attacks. Base stats are super high, but it doesn't matter your level 1. I have shitty base starting stats, low talent skills, but I've grinded so hard. <laughs> and even that literal frog in the well, not realizing how big the world is. Lizard in a pond, frog in a well. Ooh. 
Yeah, we've killed so many dragons this season. Let's kill another one. Way stronger, okay? The attack, bro. Yeah, we can't win as, you know, at the same power level as Angie. We're holding back still. This dude is going all fucking out. We're still holding back to prove a point. Yeah. So now we don't have to, we can actually try now, right? This example, yeah, before it was fine, but now it's not. So let's fuck it. Literally to death. <laughs> Is he basically saying how much time it would have taken to Angie to get this level? In six months, she would have been that fast. In nine months, she would have been that fast. And, that and after a year, this is how fast Angie could be. Yeah, but in a year, you could. Yeah. I mean, if you look at the word extraordinary, guys, like what does that say, right? Ordinary versus extraordinary. It has the extra on top of it, right? If you want to be extraordinary, you can't just do ordinary shit. You got to literally train to death. Child Angie! Ooh, those blisters. Goodbondesmane. <laughs> Okay, so so far what we've seen from Angie is like level one of the skill. What happens when you've trained to that extent? What kind of cut will it be? Wait, 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 what's gonna happen? When this smoke goes away, is this body just gonna be fucking cut in half? There it is! Angelica. You would have lost! Let's go! Beautiful. And that's today's episode, man. Dude. Osan Nubi Adventure, honestly. This is definitely one of the better episodes this season. Not just from, like, I, I'm just starting to realize that the production value, honestly, is so good. Just like the animations, like background characters, the fights, like... The fights are way better here than Tower of God. I feel so bad for putting Tower of God under the fucking bus again. But, like, truly, compare this shit versus the other animes happening right now. The production value is very... Very good, bro. Also, even like the emotional strings being tugged, like usually seasonal animes, I don't get invested into fucking, in, you know, these random characters because they have no depth. There's no world building or like enough reason for me to give a fuck. But like, I actually gave a fuck about Angie, bro. Like they're doing a great job in making these scenes actually matter. And then the power fantasies are also really cool too. Also, Rick, like handicapping himself to remain in Angie's power level to show what Angie could do if she, you know, uh, had better control of her powers. And then, when it gets too impossible to show that in six months, nine months, no, a year, this is how strong Angie will be. To teach him also a lesson. Maybe Geeth will be corrected and we'll actually try and, you know, turn over a new leaf next time. But, fantastic episode. A happy ending for Angie, too, after being brutalized. And that's it for me. If you're still here, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time.